The order sheet form has a collection of checkboxes on it for meats, cheeses, and veggies. These are going to get created as controls. However, there's a logical grouping of these that you can see from the intent of the form. When you want to represent this grouping in a form model, you can create a nested control group. Over in the order sheet component TS file, I'll create a couple of control groups in the parent control group for these. I'll add a property named meets and set that to a call to the form builder group method. And I need to pass that in object literal. The form needs two more groups, so I can copy this line and change the property names to be cheeses and do the same thing again and change the property name to be veggies and such. So I've set up the parent control group that I am storing in the order sheet component class property named order sheet form. And I have given it some controls for the customer name, specialty sandwich, and other notes. And I have now also added some control groups within it for the meats, cheeses, and veggies and such. Now I can add controls for the checkboxes in each of these control groups. So in the meats group, I'll add a property named meat ham and set that to a call to form builder control, passing it null for the default value. And I can do the same thing two more times, changing the property names to meat turkey and meat roast beef. Now what I have is the order sheet form, which is a control group that has a nested control group named meats that has controls within it for the different meat types. I need to add the other controls to the other control groups. So I need to add the cheeses and the same for the veggies and such. And with that, the nested control groups are created and filled with sets of controls for those checkbox fields.